is how BAM sends them to the street, hip-hopping, looking for the perfect beat. <laughs> Rapping, scratching, breaking, shaking, the success of hip-hop is in the making. On TV and on radio, you hear and see it wherever you go. began on the walls, and now it's sold in stores and malls. From uptown to Fifth Avenue, the journey took a heck of a crew. From a neighborhood and a street scene all around the world to the silver screen. Well, hi there, people. Once was in the underground has now by elements been found and like anywhere you see fresh meat the culture vultures come to eat now with hip-hop on his lip malcolm mclaren begins his trip how he went to the planet rock and came back to britain in future shock because though he thought punk was the top he found the groove was in hip-hop over there because they were signed to RCA Records and I was looking to put them on in a hall in Manhattan somewhere but the terrible thing was I was really stuck for a res responsible and interesting and exciting kind of opening act and there was nothing happening in New York at all and a friend of mine introduced me to a guy who I met on the street somewhere down Fifth Avenue he told me about an incredible scene that was happening not in Manhattan but out in a suburb known as the South Bronx and he said, if I'd like, I could come down on a Saturday night where they were holding a big party and I would see something that couldn't possibly have ever existed in England. And uh, I decided to actually pitch up with him on Saturday night. Upon arriving, the party, unknown to me, I thought it was going to be inside a house, was actually out in the open, in a wasteland, surrounded by these huge fired-out condominiums. And there, in the midst of it, was about a thousand kids. I couldn't believe it. I was very, very worried being the only white guy there and the cab driver gave me the signature that I should put my dollars in my socks. Mm -hmm. I ne ne nevertheless, I escorted myself across the road with this guy and made my way through the crowd, pushing and shoving, until I got to the um, decks where the music was coming from. Shook hands with a huge fat guy who later became known to me as a guy called Africa Bambata. 
And what I witnessed was a various group of different young kids who were popping in and out amongst the decks, messing about with records. Now, as far as I could see, it was extraordinary because the sound coming out was totally inarticulate. It was a load of rough noises, noises that sounded a little like a guitar, but had a sort of like a concrete chisel <laughs> sound, right? And the, and the sound, I realised, was actually coming from the way they were messing around with their hands on the decks, moving records backwards and forwards. But they weren't just doing it with one record, they were doing it with two, and they were mixing across one to the other. In fact, it was making music out of other people's music. Time went on and I stuck around for an hour or so. The crowd was extremely volatile and at times would jump into pitch battles. But at one point or another, people would move to the sides and a group of kids would start freaking out in the middle of doing all these incredible gymnastic dancing. McLaren saw was called hip hop, energy in motion that you could not stop, demanding all of your imagination if you were to share in the celebration. Now it wasn't enough to just be good, you had to be super bad, because when you hit that floor, your reputation was just about all you had. I think hip hop is being in control of your body. That's the whole art of it, actually understanding that you're much bigger than you are. It's a demonstration of your prowess. If you haven't got a dime in your pocket, the one thing you can do on Madison Avenue is spin on your head and show all the white honkies moving out of the Chase Manhattan Bank on the lunchtime and say, well, hell, beat that. And if you can't, here's my cap. Give me a few dollars. But the story of hip-hop doesn't belong in New York, L.A., or London. That's wrong. The true story begins in devastation, bad housing, gang wars, and desperation. And the Bronx ghetto, or Planet Rock. Let's take a minute and turn back the clock. Howdy! To the first hero of the hip-hop groove, the man who made the people move. From Jamaica, he came with a sense of rhythm, and what he brought to the Bronx was a sound system. Music he played made life work and made him a legend. Cool DJ, Herc. When Cool Herc gave a party, everybody be there. A lot of people used to have fun, big fun. That, that was a talk for the whole weekend, all the whole summer, where did the party? I was partying with Cool Herc, man. He gave a block party, you know. The tennis court disco, a lot of other things too. That's about my records right over here. You know, but now you know it's no more, it's not there no more, called sounds and things. And this is a this would be a ballroom up here I to play. Matter of fact, I play up there for the transit authority. Dinner one time, and uh, Mario Cuomo was there before he become governor. Uh, basically, right here, a place called Galaxy 2000. And um, they had a big shootout here one time. Same time I played at Bronx River. I came back, I seen the canopy knocked down, the fire escape was let down, you know, and I knew something was wrong. The, the, the Bronx is on an uplift. Um, I'm very pleased to see a lot of places being real, you know, rehabilitated. But um, I think there's still more could be done, a whole lot. All those unforgettable promises from, from the South Bronx, from the car that was, came over. Made out of iron, right? But I never left the Bronx, and I love the Bronx. Uh, I, 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 don't want, I don't want to leave.
What Hurt did was throw down the sound of forgotten heroes like James Brown and separate the good stuff from the junk with the emphasis on a lot of funk. And in the middle of a funky sound, Kukla Rock, his rapper, would go to town. The music was hot and very loud with participation to excite the crowd. Then Herc would drop a mighty blast with a golden oldie from Music Past. Mm. 